Okay, uh, N5BSB, uh, coming to you today uh, doing some experiments with the Micro PA100 regarding the 20 meter SWR issue. So I'm going to go through a, a series of test explanation and uh, trying two different antennas and hopefully this can help shed some light on what may be uh, the issues that are being caused uh, on 20 meters. <clears throat> so first of all, uh, I've already tried it with a vertical that you can see out there, uh, which had very good SWR, and I was getting, that's a 17 foot uh, whip, and I was getting uh, the same issue other people have seen. That's the first time I've tried it on that antenna I've been using a uh, another infed half wave so um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put this uh, into bypass mode and I'm just gonna key as you can see it's putting out a little over two watts at at a flat SWR 1.0 okay <clears throat> and just to uh, verify that there's no tuner on and I'm going to actually go into the SWR scan and let's see we got it set up for a 5 kilohertz run so we're going to run it and as you can see it's very very flat especially where I'm running it at so we'll stop that go back so I'm just using FT8 right now just to key it up. It doesn't matter. Um, it looks like it's going to do it no matter what. So right now it's working okay. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the amp in the on mode. <clears throat> and I'm going to key it up. So we're running about... 55 to 60 watts we're at a 1.13 no problems whatsoever I could run it up higher Let's see that's a little over 60 watts I don't have enough drive on my how to increase we're up about 70, 72, no problems. So let me show you what I got, okay? I've got the radio. I've got the, uh, I tried this ground wire just to, for experimentation. It didn't make no difference. I got it, the amps on a battery. Uh, it's running down here to a, uh, to a choke. And then from there, it's running out here. There's the vertical that I had set up. Same coax, everything on on the same setup. So this is uh, the real potable antenna, in-fed half wave. This is what I normally use a lot of times when I go out. It's going up to about 20, 24 feet in a sloper configuration. Okay, so you, as you can see, that works perfectly fine. So I'm going to switch everything over back to the vertical and we'll come back and I'll, I'll show you uh, what it's doing. Apologize for all the crew set up here in, in, in front of my grill, but it was just the easiest thing to set up. Be back in a minute. Okay, so um, got the other antenna hooked up. I'm just going to uh, go in here to the app and I'm going to do a SWR scan. We're going to hit run and as you can see it's pretty much flat where I'm going to be talking at the the winds blowing it around a little bit so it's fluctuating but it's almost flat I mean it's all below 1.2 1 1.1 1 .1 to 1 1.2 all right so let's unkey that let's go back so we're still set up here the uh, I think it's in bypass mode right now, so I'm just going to key it up. We're at around close to four watts 
out three and a half and it's showing 1.25 okay so let me uh, unkey it I'm gonna turn the power down because I've already been experimenting around with this I'm gonna turn it down to about uh, uh, seven so you can see 0 0.7 watts and uh, let's go ahead and put it into the power amplifier on let's key it up so right now we're showing 1.7 from 1.2 to 1.7 around 10 watts out so I'm going to unkey it I'm going to increase the power up just a little bit to 0.8 watts We're already approaching 2 to 1 SWR. So if I go much higher, if I go to 0.9 watts, it's. Yeah, we went over 2.3. So <clears throat> there is something to this. Uh, I've tried using a ground grounding the radio together grounding the uh to the battery to the i've tried tried everything that i can think of at this point um i do have a choke in line as you can see but there is something going on with the uh with the vertical antenna it's a quarter wave on 20 i have not tried it with my ground radials i just i don't think it'll make much difference um, that that uh, Faraday cloth pretty much acts the same as the ground radials. The ground radials, it might the SWR might drop just another a tenth of a point, but it's not much. So I can turn the power down and it will stay going but even then the swr is not correct it should be like 1.2 and it's already up to like 1.7 1.8 we're putting out about 10 watts as soon as i you know increase the the power i'm just turning down my power on the uh the radio so now let me see if I can go up one more notch. We're about so right now we're we're about putting out around 12 watts, and we're getting very close to tripping it. Let me uh, unkey it, and I don't think it'll go to one watt, but we'll we'll try it. We're real close, 1.8. Let me see how high I can, how high I can go. Now my ALC is down. I need to crank it up just a little bit. So as you can see, when the power starts getting up, it, it's gonna, it's gonna start airing out. All right, so I don't know what the solution is, but I did this video to try to replicate the problem that other people were were having. I have not tried it on the, the quarter wave vertical. I've been using uh, in-fed half waves um, both here at home and out in the field. So once somebody mentioned, Mr. Wang mentioned that a five meter vertical I, I decided I would come out here today and try it and verify and I know if it's doing it on this it's going to do it on sideband so it doesn't it doesn't matter it doesn't make any sense to test it I've already verified by changing antennas it doesn't do it on the infed half wave it's perfectly flat and it doesn't change I can run it all the way up to 70 80 watts and it doesn't affect it any at all so there is something going on with the uh, ground mounted vertical uh, and hopefully we can uh, find a solution for it. 
hope everybody uh, got something from this. Um, this is Robert N5BSB, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.